Jones again involved. Good ball from him. Belokovic through the centre, Amasad, great save from the goalkeeper. But what a sparkling move that was from Sydney United. Totally opening up the Knights' defence with some swift passing. And the Knights coming back almost as quickly with Ante Dijk. Ponoyak in the corner now. Sydney United with plenty of men behind the ball. And the cross was easily cut out at the near post. But just at times, Sydney United have shown us exactly why they are second in the Ericsson Cup ladder. That wasn't one of the moments. It's a poor pass from Hooker. But let's take a look at the move. Phillips involved. Bilokopic, great first time ball. Opening up the defence, Saad. Let's give the goalkeeper some credit there. Nice ball from Barrett Saad. Great ball from him to Bilokopic going through. On the left foot, takes the shot. Well, it was always going wide as soon as it left the boot of Paul Belokopic, but the build-up once again was very easy on the eye. Abassad played him through, great run through from midfield. Deep. So good at running at defenders. Still deep. Clever little ball through. Kelic just the goalkeeper to beat. It's his goal. The opening goal, in fact, to Ivan Kelic. A rare raid forward for the Melbourne Knights has paid dividends. And it was Ante Deek who made it. Superb little ball through there. Kelic just clipping the ball over Zoko Kalats. A well-worked move indeed, and whichever way you look at it, that is a fine goal, and Ivan Kelic has put the Knights in the lead. Hooker. Barrett's tangling with Pondoyak, that's a foul. Well, interesting. Clearly, well, Barrett has been sent off for an elbow in the face of Tom Pondoyak. And there's no doubt in my mind that Pondoyak fouled David Barrett. But Barrett reacted with an elbow. Pondoyak copped one in the chin now. What will he do to Tom Pondoyak as we take another look here? Well, Barrett beat him to the ball. Pondoyak pulled him back. Let's have a look at the lash out from Barrett. And there it is, right into the face of Pondoyak. Looking for Blokovic to flick it on. There's a loose ball there. It's still in place somehow. Hooker will get another chance with the long throw. Blokovic again goes to the near post. Joe Didalika. Loose ball. Hacked away anywhere by John Didalika. Well, Kalat's forced to retreat. Pondoyak going through. Still Pondoyak. Great goal. Superb counter-attacking stuff this from the Knights. Tom Pondoyak. A clinical finish from him. Kalat's left exposed at the back. Well, the pace of Pondoyak was too much for the defence. He left them in his wake and beat Kalats with a great bit of accurate shooting there showing Verkic a clean pair of heels and showing how to finish a goal 2-0 to the Knights Dinolika a oh, good ball forward for Kalic this time still Kalic has gone down was it in the penalty area that's the question and that is a red card a second of the game Plesha deemed as the last offender by the referee Mark Shield.
There's no doubt it was a bad foul on Ivan Kelic. Now, Tom Pondoyak, can he make it 3-0 for the Melbourne Knights? He can. Emphatically and easily, Tom Pondoyak with the third goal, his second of the game. And how much more horribly wrong could the half have gone for Sydney United? Pondoyak. Be thinking that if the Knights start to pressurise them too much as they may do here. Pondoyak again, whipping it in. Great cross that from Pondoyak. John Didalika flying into meet it. Well, what's going on here? Another man's gone for Sydney United. Kuprashek needs to be restrained. A third defender has been sent off. Kuprashek has lost his cool here. Just the frustrations of the afternoon are showing on Sydney United. Kuprashek wisely now has turned away and continued to walk. There's the final whistle here at Parramatta. Mark Shield, the centre of attention with the three red cards. There was no chance for Sydney United after that. And the final score, Sydney United nil, the Melbourne Knights three.